Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson for today. Today's purpose is to know that words are made of letters. So let's get started. Materials. The only materials we need for our lesson today is just our thinking cap. So we're already set. There are three learning targets for our lesson today. The first one says, I can say the names of other people and read their names. The second target says, I can find written words and letters and tell the difference between them. And the last target says, I can listen to the story, a search for names. Transition song. It's time to sing our ABC song. So get those voices ready. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. These are the letters we used to read and write. Let's get to know them by sound and by sight. Nice job. Woodwork. I have a little chant that I would like to share with you. So I want you to listen closely as I read through the chant. And I want you to notice a few things too. Ready? Is the word we heard now is the word we see. This is the word that shows my name and every time it looks the same. Did you notice that I didn't say anything when I was on those blank spaces? There are lots of other words that I read through my chant, but I didn't know what word to say on those blank lines because there was no word there. But now I'm going to read it again. And this time I'm going to fill in those blank spaces. And I'm going to fill in those blank spaces with my name. Ready? Follow along again as I read through. Rachel is the word we heard. Now, Rachel is the word we see. This is the word that shows my name and every time it looks the same. Now those blank spaces were filled with my name and I was able to read them. How about we try it again, but this time we use your name. Are you ready? All right, now it's time to read through the chant again, and this time we're going to use your name. What is your name? Great. So when I clap my hands, that's when I want you to say your name in the chant. Ready? Here we go. Is the word we heard now? Is the word we see? This is the word that shows your name and every time it looks the same. Awesome job saying your name in my chant. Thanks for helping me. Read aloud. We have been doing so much work with names today, which reminds me of a story that we started yesterday. How about we go back and read some more of that story today? The story is called A Search for Names. Listen closely as I read through. Let's find out what happens. Jeffy set out on his great hunting adventure, but as soon as he left the naming tree, the selfish wizard 
all mine, put a spell on Jeffy, and his legs wobbled beneath him, and he was unable to walk. All mine said, Jeffy, I want to find the secrets of the stars so that I can have power over all the earth. Tell me your dream, and I will give you back the strength of your legs. But Jeffy refused to tell him. All mine went away in a huff, but promised to be back. When you are ready to walk again, call for me and I will lift the spell. I am the only one who is special and only my specialty can free you from this spell. Jeffy crawled back to his home in the naming tree, so sad he would not be able to go out and discover all the secrets the stars had planted in all the things of the earth. Now, in the village were two children, Anak and Watato. They had no parents and nowhere to live. They slept in a cave in the forest, eating berries and plants they could find in the woods. One night, it was so clear that you could see thousands of stars in the dark night sky. Watato said, Anak, let's sleep in the field tonight and count the stars. So they lay down and began counting, but even before they got to 100, they fell fast asleep. While they slept, the morning star gave a knock a dream, and the evening star gave a dream to Watato. Wow, I can't wait to find out what dream they got. That's so exciting. Thanks for listening to my story. We'll find out what happens next, the next time. Closing Reflection. Let's reflect on our lesson for today. I have two questions that I want you to think about. My first question is, what do we know about words? We know that words are made up of letters. And we also know that words tell us what things are. Right. My second question is, what do we know about letters? Right. We know that letters make words. Awesome job. Great thinking. Notice all the words around you and write them down. Think about all the things you know about the words. It's time to say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed listening to my story and learning more about names. Thanks for joining me. I will see you next time.